hi so here we have one more video on the probability and in this video we have three different type of problems so the first problem over here is a die is tossed three times find the probability of getting an odd number at least once that means if we can find the probability of getting even number on all the tosses that means die one shows an even number second die also shows an even number and the third die also shows an even number right if you can find the probability of getting even number on all the three tosses then p dash will actually give us the probability of getting odd number at at least one toss p dash is actually defined as you are not getting an even number at least in one of the tosses right so when we toss a die we can get either an even number or an odd number probability of you getting an even number is 1 by 2 and the probability of you getting an odd number is also 1 by 2 3 out of 6 numbers are even and 3 out of 6 numbers on a die are odd that means the probability of you getting an even number on the first toss and on the second toss and on the third toss will actually be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 that means the probability of you getting even numbers on all the tosses is actually equal to 1 by 8 right so the probability of all even is equal to 1 by 8 that means the probability of not all even is actually equal to 1 minus 1 by 8 that is 7 by 8 so 7 out of 8 times you will get at least one odd number when you are tossing a die for three times right so this is the first problem and now let's go to the second problem and the second problem says a die is marked 1 2 3 in red 4 5 6 in green is tossed let a be the event the number is even and b be the event the number is red are a and b independent so we have two events a and b and event a is number is even that means the favorable outcomes for event a will be 2 which is marked in red 4 and 6 which are marked in green and event b is defined as the number is red so the number marked in red are 1 2 and 3 so these are the favorable outcomes for event A and event B and we have to find if event A and event B are independent. So what is the condition for event A and event B to be independent? The condition was if the probability of event A when B has already occurred is equal to probability of A and the probability of B where A has already occurred is equal to probability of B then these two events will be called independent and the probability of A where B has already occurred is calculated as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B right and if these two are independent if A and B are independent this will be equal to probability of A right so from here from this part we can say if the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersection B then these two events A and B will be called independent right so we are going to use this identity or this formula to find if even A and B are independent first we will find A intersection B A intersection B will be equal to there is only one element common between set A and set B so only two will be there in A intersection B and the probability of A is equal to 3 out of 6 that is 1 by 2 and the probability of B is equal to 3 out of 6 that is again 1 by 2 right and the probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 6 because there is only one element in a intersection B right and 
what is the product of probability of A and probability of B? So the probability of A multiplied by probability of B is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 and this is not equal to the probability of A intersection B that means these two events are not independent they are dependent events right so this is also one way in which we can find whether two given events are independent or not so in this case these two events are not independent and now let's go to the third part of the problem third problem is given two independent events a and b such that probability of a is 0.3 and probability of b is 0.6 find the probability of a and b probability of a and not b and probability of a or b or probability of neither a nor b so we are given the probability of a is equal to 0 0.3 and probability of b is equal to 0 0.6 and since these two are independent events the probability of a intersection b will be equal to 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6 that is 0 0.18 right because if two events are independent the probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a multiplied by probability of b so using that formula we will get probability of a intersection b as 0 0.18 and what we have to find in first case we have to find the probability of a and b this is nothing but the probability of a intersection b which is 0 0.18 which we have already calculated over here right and what we have to find next the probability of a and not b um, this will be equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B dash. Um, this will be actually equal to the probability of A and 1 minus probability of B. Probability of even B not happening is actually equal to 1 minus the probability of even B happening. Um, this will be equal to 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 and this will be equal to 0 0.12 right so this is first this is second and now let's go to the third third is the probability of a or b the probability of a or b is actually the probability of a union b and this is equal to the probability of a plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B and this will be equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.18 that is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.18 and this will be equal to 0 0.72 and now we have to find the probability of neither A nor B and the probability of neither A happening nor B happening will actually be equal to the probability of A dash intersection B dash and this will be equal to the probability of A union B dash using De Morgan's law and this will actually be equal to 1 minus probability of A union B and this will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.72 that is equal to 0 0.28 that's all for this video so next we are going to learn trigonometry on this channel so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then